I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to derive formula for surface area of a cone. Let's consider a cone here. So I will just sketch one here for you. In two dimensions it looks like a triangle. So that is the cone. The cone is a 3D figure, something like this. Now it is basically defined by two parameters. One is height, the other one is the radius. So normally for a cone you will be given height and radius. So that is the cone, this is the height and that is the radius. From these two parameters you can find a very important dimension which is called the lateral height. So that is slant height. This is, we treat this as L. Using Pythagorean theorem, we can find what L is. So L square is equals to height square plus radius square and length is equals to square root of height square plus radius square. So third very important dimension for the cone is slant height L. So this is called slant height. since this is at an angle, right? So that is the slant height. Our formula for surface area basically is linked with the slant height. Okay, now let us see how to find the surface area of the cone. Now what we can do here is we can look into the cone in further details. One of the surfaces of the cone is the circle which you see at the end in this case. Well, the cone could be placed upside down also. But what you really find is that the circular part, if you cut it across, it is always a circle, right? Now this area is area of a circle. So let me make this circle here. So that is the bottom part. Radius is R. And as you know, area of the circle is pi r square. So let me call this area 1. So if you are considering surface area and if we have a cone which is let us say is closed from here. So what I will do is I will just sketch this cross section of this cone to understand better. <laughs> it is kind of a triangle right. So, so it is kind of a triangle if you cut it open that is from the top. So if I cut from the top, you will get a triangle kind of like this. So in this triangle, if the cone is covered from this circular side, then this circular side will have radius of r and this triangle will have height of h and we are saying this is at right angles and this L is the slant height which is related like this right at times this may be open for example ice cream cone without ice cream right so in that case this is open then in that case while calculating surface area we should not include area of the circle since it is kind of open well so that's that could be a special case anyway let's continue with the surface area of the cone. So now we have already covered this portion which is the circular part and how about this part lateral area this which includes this length L. Well that is difficult to find. So the strategy here is to cut it open so and and then spread it on the paper. Most of the 3D shapes when we work with we draw a net, right? So that is cut it open, lay it on your two dimensional paper, and then measure the area. Area is two dimensional, right? So if we do so, then well, we can spread it out and it will look like something like this. If I cut and open, in that case, 
it is going to look like this let's say let me make a view here kind of like this it will spread out kind of like this right so this circular thing which is the circumference of a circle will be all this and what we call all this it looks like a sector do you see that it is a sector sector is a part of a circle a big circles part is called sector now in this sector that particular length is l is l right this particular length but what is this side how much is that equal to well if you spread the whole thing in that case this length is going to be same as circumference of the circle right so so this length will be 2 pi r right so circumference of the circles this length will be 2 pi r this whole length, right so we have a sector whose dimensions are kind of shown here from the center to the tip which is kind of radius of a big circle the length is going to be L and this portion which is a curved portion is also part of a big circle a sector whose length we can say arc length is 2 pi r right I hope it's absolutely clear till now now we need to find area of this to get curved area right so so this area basically is the curved area idea is how to find the area of this well one of the strategies is to cut it into small pieces smaller the pieces more accurate values we get so what I will do here is uh, I'll cut into a few places. Okay, so how many? One, two, three, four, five I made. Okay, let me make it smaller, even smaller. So, I'm looking for another ink. Okay. So, let me just cut it into more halves. Okay, let's see like this. Then I'll spread it out. And then we'll find the area. Okay, so what I did is I've cut it into smaller pieces. Now we'll take them one by one and place it on this sheet of paper. So the first piece, let us say this one. So this one is kind of like this. We are, we'll just place it here. So it becomes kind of like this. Think like this, okay? If this is very small, this will be a straight line. So the, so the idea is that let's say this is my first piece now I'm going to place the second piece so I'll make this tip with some colors so alternately I'm going to highlight my tips just to show you what I'm trying to do so this is my first piece with this kind of a tip okay the next piece I will tear away from here and place it upside down so it is kind of like this and that end will join with this you see that so the red edge is joining and we get something like this and if we really cut into very small pieces all these sides will not be curved they'll be a straight line you get it right okay now I picked up the next one which is with this yellow highlighter okay and then I place it next to this so what I get here is kind of like this okay so we get the third piece now we'll pick this one and place it here you see that and we'll continue this process we'll continue this process right so 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 this is how we are going to continue okay I've kept that edge blue so let me just follow my color code so I picked up this third one now I mean third one with yellow highlighter and then then this one 
and then so we can just follow this process keeping them all intact so that goes so one two three four five I have to put so I already put four <clears throat> okay and I hope this is the last one for the yellow one right well and now that one correct so we have one two three four five one two three four five five of these arranged in one direction the other five in the other so by doing so we have ensured one thing that is out of this whole length of 2 pi r half have come to this side so half of 2 pi r is what pi r right so it has been divided into two portions so we have pi r here and we have pi r here the length right because these lengths are not going to change once you add them they will add up both will add up to 2 pi r right so we have pi r plus pi r equals to 2 pi r is that clear okay now what is this length l so what should be this length well it should be l, l. this length has to be l both sides now if I had many slices many slices right I don't have many so you see these curved surfaces in that case uh, this particular thing would have looked kind of like this let me make one let me make one kind of like this straight if I have smaller pieces this will not be curved be straight kind of like this but the dimensions will be same do you see that that is to say still one dimension of this rectangle will be pi r the other one will be the lateral slant height slant height l so we have pi r l and this and that will be a rectangle now what is the area of rectangle we have to multiply these two sides right so let's multiply so we have this area as equals to pi r l pi r l do you see that so this happens this change happens if i cut it into many many slices right then we'll get when you arrange them like this half of them facing one way the other half facing the other way the whole length gets divided into 2 instead of 2 pi r, pi r and pi r, that is 2 pi r, right? And you get area of this curved surface as pi r l. So now we can see that the area, I should say, the surface area for a cone is combination of these two, correct? The base having the area of circle pi r square and the curved surface area pi r l so we'll write this formula here now so we have surface area equals to pi r square plus pi r l pi r l where r is the radius of the cone l is the slant height which could be calculated if we know height and radius of the curve as we have shown here and it is also important to note that for open cone which is not closed from this side we should not include the circle area like an open ice cream cone which is empty which does not have any ice cream so I hope with this you get fairly good idea of what the surface area of cone can be and how to calculate its value if we know height and radius so as a practice question you can find surface area of a cone where height is 10 centimeters and radius is 4 centimeters right so let this be an exercise for you 
steps involved will be first to find L which is square root of 10 square plus 4 square. Once you find L you can find the curved surface area pi r l. The value of pi you can always take as 3.14 right. On calculators we do have pi it is an irrational number but you can take 3.14 to work with pi r square r is directly given to you so you can always place it. At times we do Factor out R, simplify and write it, but that's not a good option since sometimes you realize cone may not have circle as part of its surface area, open cone, right? So open cone will not have circular path. So remember these things. I hope that will always help. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thanks for watching.